next few days, we're going to take a look at the beginnings of what became the Baptist movement. Baptists were born in protest, and we've been dissenters ever since. It all began with a group in England, led by Thomas Helwes and John Smith, who separated from the Church of England, the Established Church. In the Established Church, what the church leader said about God took priority over what the Bible says about God. The protest of Smith and Helwes' band of separatists was grounded firmly in an unshakable conviction that only the Bible, not human leaders, whether political or religious, was their rightful authority for understanding and approaching God. The story of John Smith and Thomas Helwes is a brief but compelling one. As Leon Macbeth recounts in his classic history, The Baptist Heritage, Smith, a theologian, had once been ordained a priest in the Church of England. Yet only a few years later, he was thrown into the notorious English prison known as the Clink for refusing to conform to the, te the Church's teachings and practices. Thomas Helwes, on the other hand, was a well-to-do layman. These two men apparently met for the first time around 1606, when Smith broke completely with the Church of England and began meeting with a group of fellow separatists in Gainsborough a group led by, among others, John Robinson, William Brewster, William Bradford, and Thomas Helwes. Ultimately, as Macbeth tells us, the group's size and visibility left it exceedingly vulnerable to persecution by King James I. So, for safety's sake, they broke up into two groups. Both groups migrated to Holland as religious refugees, one group led by Robinson, Brewster, and Bradford, and the other group led by Smith and Helwes. The smith Helwes group adopted believer's baptism as its foundational organizing principle and became the first Baptist. In tomorrow's Baptist brief, we'll continue the story of John Smith, Thomas Helwes, and the first, the very first, Baptist church.